don't think there's a better time to start this video than right now because I'm stuck on the M1 on the way to see Tom. We've got some bits to install today. I'm stuck next to this fucking awesome F-Type S. Best looking new car ever made. Like, it's got to be one of the best looking cars ever. It's fucking so nice. I'd love to have one and then do what the Top Gear did and just batter it around a track and cage it. It'd be wicked. But today, <coughs> we're testing a bit of a theory today, a bit of a myth among the Haldex world, where this thing called a power track insert apparently kills diffs, but it actually gives you 50-50 permanent four-wheel drive. So, for the sake of 50 quid, which is the price of these, there is a link to, to what they are down in the description. I bought this, it's not like a sponsored thing. So if you want to have a look at them, uh, there's not really much info on them. There's only like old forum posts from like 2008 and stuff. So we're going to myth bust today and we're going to see what it's like. Obviously we can't, it's going to be over my ownership. It's not, I'm not going to put it in and the diff's going to blow up, I hope. But if, if it does, diffs are cheap enough, you can always just swap a new one in. Other than that, um, I'm going to try and sort out the seized rear caliper. Uh, local ad to me, Adam, I'll put his Instagram on the screen. Uh, just come and sold me some rear calipers for for the Mark IV. So, like, they're a bit tatty, but if they fix the season problem, then I'm happy. And also, I've got some uh, some grip tape, some skateboard tape for my motor mech foot plate. Like, sometimes your feet slip into them holes. So, I know I've heard it's pretty abrasive. If it's too abrasive, I'll swap it for, you know, that stuff swimming pools have. A friend of mine, Dan, he's got them in his. See, I'll catch up with you when we're actually off of the M1. And we're at Tom's. So, yeah, see in a bit. So, after nearly four hours in fucking traffic, I don't know how bad the crash was. There was no... You didn't get to see it. They shut off, like, a whole junction. Like, they closed the M1 fully. I thought I'd go on a big detour around this tiny little town. I'm with Tom, obviously. There's a nice little Cooper here. I'm not a big fan of the shape, but the interior looks sick. Manual as well. So as I said earlier, we're doing... The main thing is this power track insert for the Haldex. We're doing a Haldex service, and we're also doing a rear brake caliper. So my brake caliper, one of them seized. The passenger side. Got some pads as well, which we're giving in. Got them second hand, obviously, just to test it. Got some grip tape that I'm gonna put on the foot plate. And this. The company is called Tafmet. I got it off eBay, obviously, because the best mods are from eBay. This is mine, it's the circlet, the push fit. There's two different types. This is from 2002 onwards, I think. And it comes with a gasket, which a few of them I looked at don't actually come with a gasket, so that's why I went with this one. Um, shout out to Dan Hops for telling me to go for this one. So we're gonna obviously get these out of the way and then we'll fuck about with the blue tank. First problem. Uh, we've come into this a bit blind. I will admit, as usual, we've uh, not really done our research. Tom hasn't actually done one of these before. So, it's a bit unfortunate. First problem, I've not got an Allen key that fits in at all. Second problem, I've not got the fucking spanner to undo filter. Yeah, we've got the oil, it just can't get in there. Does that count? If you just put it in the boot. And also, I need to get behind that, I think. Uh, on the, it should be like a little, you know, see that gasket? Yeah, yeah. It should be in there somewhere. In the gasket or on the other side of the Underneath gasket? Underneath the gasket, I think. So do you have to take this fully out or not? Must do. There's no fucking like videos on how to do this. It's a one way valve. Yeah. It must open. <laughs> right, it's hard to see because Dickhead's just walked off with a torch. Fucking dickhead holds it fucking camera more like he's been doing so much fucking blinding me with a cunt, not enough fucking holding. <laughs> Three hours later. Basically, there's a ball, ball there, the and there's a ball there. Yeah. 
And then on top of that bolt there is... There's like a little... Uh, little tiny snap ring or circlip, whatever you want to call it. Just drop the, the goods. So to remove it, on it torch, that'll be both. Not in my eye either, like shine it like it's somewhere useful. It is somewhere useful, you div. Never work with children, animals, or nonces. So don't work with Jack. See you three. From that you <laughs> it's three of them. <laughs> oh, sound sort of circlips just disintegrated. I'm getting dripped on, not in a good way. Amazing. That is like completely welded in there, really, isn't it? When you think about it. Let's just try and get some flies and just rip it out. I've got, I've got a, a circuit box. I feel like changing. Yeah. That's 20 quid on Bill. Plus sugar tax. Plus Brexit tax. It's quite a palaver to get off. What we found as best is like unplugging the, the little harness best and then feeding it through and then pulling it down a little bit. Best way to deal with it, just bringing it me. Yeah, bring it to Tom and uh, we'll sort it. Yes. Success. Straight in the boob. Straight in the titty. So that sound. Let's do it. If we compare them. Before and after. It's a joke because I've got a small penis. Me versus every man in the world, including fetuses. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a bit. See ya. <laughs> Gentle bit of persuasion. There's fucking plenty of oil in there, so I don't know, it's not sliding in. Today's one of them days. <laughs> Sound. Yeah. Right, you need to find that fucking snap ring now. So we've got the uh, we've got the insert in. That was a fucking right ball, mate. Now we're trying to uh, we're taking the cradle off so we can get to the filter so we can actually service it, which is because we've not got the spanner. No. Yeah, we didn't we don't have the spanner, and to be fair, for the amount of times we're going to be doing this. Well, this is the first time I've done it, and I've been a mechanic for I've worked for myself for five years. About three weeks. No, I've worked for myself for three years. I'm just going to film this in case it falls on our feet. At least we'll get some out, some out of this. We've got fucking trade rolled in it, so not we? Yeah, but it's Chinese, Tom. It's actually made out of, like, noodles. Have you watched that Madeline McCann thing yet? I watched the first episode, it was shit. Have you watched it? No. Great boring. I, 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 I know, I know how it ends. <laughs> Why would I want to watch it? What do you mean? Uh, well, she's not, she's not there, is she? Well, obviously not. I haven't but... fucking found her. So the filter's off. We managed to crack it off by hand. Uh, on that end, I just did that. Just one twist of the hand. And it's, it's unbelievable, really, what uh, thinking about a gym can do. That's the biggest load of bollocks I've heard in my life. What really happened is I <laughs> fucking... Our fingers. That's why I've got the look, hands of God on my, t on my fingers. Ask Alex. I'll leave her Instagram on the screen so you can message her directly. And, uh, and then you see this hand, it's a window some cuts through. 80% chance of getting punched if you try and message her. <laughs> so other than that, we just need to, put the, we need to put the fluid in now. I think that's tight now. So there's one way to tell, try and uh, do it off your hand. If you could do it before, if you can't do it now. I can't oatmeal sweet now, well, like I've no seals brand new, they're fatter aren't they, so it'll swell with them. There's no way to put them in, so that's the point of using them. Fucking stupid, I don't know, I just don't put it in the bottle. I thought there was going to be more in there. So did I. Shank torch, aren't you? Check out Phil White. Oh yeah, that's cool. Well, it probably is actually it's full. Mate, it starts coming out the top. That's what I thought, but it's not dripping out, but I can feel it. Have you ordered that as a kit? Uh, as a kit, so that, that'll do it? And that should do it, shouldn't it? 
I can feel the water, it's there. If I put my finger in all, yeah, I can yeah. touch the top of the fluid there. Yeah. Mm. So it must be literally about to come out. Must be there. It's looking more than what's come out anyway. Mm. A little fucking splash has come out. Mm. That one's seized. Box. Do this now. Right, they're well and truly seized to fuck on there. What? The nuts, because I've just unscrewed that thread. Everything just wanked, it's called just shit. She just bought a GTI. And then didn't slide. And then being faster than one of these on stage one. Right, so that fucking handbrake mech's been seized at some point. You did that. I remember you did that. No, I'm on about the new one, the new caliper. What? It's been seized at some point. What about police? <laughs> it's a fucking knobhead, isn't it? Not me. A lot of drowning in brakes for it. I threaten me with a good song. Pads. There you go, who says I'm not a mechanic? Puts it in upside down and sideways. <laughs> Basically, today on Tom Parker show, Jack's bought the wrong fucking caliper. No, he's bought, he's bought the right caliper, but he's bought it off someone who's tried to fucking do me. Some knock off Nigel and it's seized, so what I've done is I've had to fucking push piston out and sand piston down and put it back in. We had damage at seal. But the real question is, would it work? Your question is, yes it will. It's not a question, that's a statement. Told Adam Avell to stop looking people off. <laughs> Getting civic parts to fucking vag owners. Yeah, that's, that's a fucking accord. Funny that, because Adam just changed this side caliper on that civic. Alright, so massive, massive fucking palaver. We turn, we turn the car on just to test it and test the brake. The brake's fine, like it works. It just started pissing all Haldex fluid out. So we examined it, couldn't find it. Turned it again and tried it again. And it was the little circlip that we had. When we put it back in, it actually snapped. So we did that. We couldn't find any circlips in here. There's nowhere open because it's 12 o'clock at night. And luckily, one of my friends, about half hour away, ish, has just got like ish. yeah, ish. Like I, I don't know if you're watching this, but you that you fucking saved us. He kindly had a spare controller, so he took the circlip off his. Now we're gonna finish. I'm absolutely knackered. I've had two hours sleep off a fucking night shift. He's just sort of played about the cars all day. Let's uh, show you the... So this is one wheel. <laughs> you don't have on a screwdriver on all that. Right, I've warmed that up, just like Matt said. We got Matt for driving all the way from Chesterfield. Yeah. It's coming to unlock his garage, just to see if we've got an O-ring. Which he didn't. I don't think Matt's going to watch this, but yeah, you do, Matt, cheers. For the amount of safe for that. Appreciate that. So let's finish off this car, and then I'm going to go... I'm gonna go praise rape Ray and he said rape Jesus then. <laughs> I'm gonna go praise race Jesus and perform a gaptism on the way home. Done mate. Three hours for that. <laughs> wow. And we thought that was gonna be the easiest bit of today, putting that insert in. <laughs> I shot I shot us both in the foot with that one. Oh wow. Yeah, so yeah. Just we're just going to put a little bit more fluid in because it lost quite a lot. Well, it's lost about 300 mil. So, no, it's not. Has it? 300 mil? It's lost, <laughs> 200 mil it? <laughs> it's lost about 25 mil. That's how tired I am. I'm just forgetting what's happening. So we've refitted the big boy ish circlip and it's not leaking now. We just started it. Should have really filmed it. We have had some problem though. Just it was just one of them, like. It's such a drip tap down there. It was just one of them. When it happened, the camera wasn't in my hand. We just sort of went, oh, fucking stop, stop. Because it was just pissing out. And it was like a weird little, it was like a little pop, wasn't it? Yeah. Where it all just sort of just popped out. But that's that's when you don't get no fucking circlips in other kits. And then yeah. a little drip just kicked off. I thought it was leaking. But it's water. That was drips, look. 
it's a bit weird. That's it's a bit weird that they don't give you a circuit, knowing that these are like and to be honest, fourteen I, year old. I think that's a dodgy size circuit because we've not got one. That's not one in his full collection. It's not something. It's not a regular circuit, is it? Yeah, Even the ends on it's a bit weird, like the ends on the inside of the ring, whereas normal circuits are right. like on the outside. It is, Tom. Well done. You've done a good job today. Makes a change. Good job today and yesterday. I get, it's not my fault that I don't fucking supply a little circuit. My fault I bought it, but that's negligible at best. Ah. <sighs> It's fucking well annoying, isn't it? While I'm here, I will remember that the lovely Tom has bought me a present. It's for where is it? It's a fire extinguisher holder for roll cages. That's well, that's one of them. They're not selling you here. I couldn't yeah. find them anywhere. Seen them on at like Ultimate Loves and that and yeah. and track cars. Like, so he just he ordered one on the off chance that I needed one, and obviously, thank you very much. No problem. Yeah, I've got some other. Stuff coming up soon on his car as well. Uh, fitting Matt, fitting Matt an exhaust. There's no map. We're not doing map now because it's already mapped in it. Exhaust map again when I go back down to Phil's just to get my final figures. Um, and then full power flex treatment. Power flex bushes. Uh, we'll review ceramic coating that I've said though. I don't know. What a picture of fucking loads of videos at car walking around it clean as fuck. Loads. When you go to pick me up, we can be like, oh, we're going to pick my car up, can't we? I'm just can do. Well, we can finish off the exhaust video then. Yeah, can we? So that is basically it for this week. Uh, I'll probably do an update at some point, or I'll just let you know in one of the future videos how the power track actually does, or I might put it on at the end of this. I'll just try and get some launches. But basically, it's instant 50-50 instead of lazy 60-40. So if you want in a... Haldex controller and you don't want to pay £600, £500, £800 for a touch motion, this is probably a good idea. If you want one and you're unsure how to fit it, give Tom a shout. Tom will sort you out on price. Just let him know that you come from us and he'll know where you're going. Make sure that bring a snap with you. <laughs> Make sure you bring a circlet with you. Because <laughs> it might snap. But they're available on S3s, Audi TTs, Four motions, R32s, what else? Audi A3s. Audi A3, TDI, two litre. Yeah, two litre, two the TDI two Quattro. They're quite rare, they are. But yeah, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Follow Tom on Instagram. Uh, see you in the next one.